Hey everyone, it's the Dub Nation here and welcome back to a brand new Marvel video here in the channel. With the release of the Disney's Investors Days announcements, we've got five MCU Disney Plus TV series trailers. So today I thought it was time for me to stop and rank all five Disney Plus MCU TV series trailers from the Disney's Investor Day ranked from the worst to the best. Please know that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion and you are free to comment down below your ranking on all of the D Disney's Investor Day's MCU Disney Plus TV series trailers. My list is certainly not the right list, it's just my list and you are free to comment down below yours. Like, comment, and subscribe and without further ado, let's get into our ranking. Kicking off my list at number 5 has gotta go to the Miss Marvel Sizzle Reel. Now just like the name implies, it is essentially just a sizzle reel. It basically just shows the casting process, why they chose to bring Miss Marvel into the MCU, and why they chose to give her her own Disney Plus show. Now, I was never that excited for a Miss Marvel show, mainly because we already have a teenage superhero inside of the MCU. But I feel as though this character right here could be interesting and could be a great character inside of the MCU. I love the fact that they're getting more diverse cast, a more diverse crew to helm this project an almost mostly pakistani crew and a pakistani actress to play miss marvel i'm really liking the diversity that marvel studios is doing in their later phases and also i just think that with them adding in more family elements it could become one of the most grounded mcu disney plus shows but also one of the most personal and deep and that's what i'm really looking forward to because the only time that we really had a deep personal family style mcu film was in the first guardians of the galaxy and hints of that inside of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Miss Marvel could be a great character. I'm kind of excited for it. It didn't raise my excitement levels up that high, but I'm pretty sure that Marvel is going to pull through with a great show for Disney+. Plus. But for the lack of stuff that they showed, it has to come in last place for me. Coming in at number 4 for me has got to go to the WandaVision second trailer. I really enjoyed this trailer. I really loved the trippy vibe of it. Now it did get a little bit less trippy than it was in the first trailer. But I really enjoyed what they did here. But honestly it just felt like. I know what the series is going to be. I know it's going to be weird. It's my highly anticipated MCU Disney Plus series. So I know it's going to be weird. And I know it's going to be a big departure from what we've seen in other MCU projects. But in this trailer, it kind of felt like they were trying to set up that somebody was doing this to Wanda. And I feel like I'm, I'm not going to be on board with this show if they're going to go that direction. I'm obviously going to love it because it's MCU. But at the same time, it just feels like it's not going to be what I expected it to be. I thought that this show was going to be like this world was created by Wanda because she's not sane. Because she's going crazy and that it, that will lead into Doctor Strange 2. But at the same time, inside of this trailer, they're showing that somebody might be doing this to Wanda. Or at least Wanda may be manipulating the people on the outside to think that someone's doing this to her. Or something like that. But all in all, I found this trailer to not only be interesting, but also be fascinating. But it was still something there that I was like, I'm not so sure if you should go that route. But I'm still very much anticipating it. Kicking off my top three list has got to go to What If. Now, just like the WandaVision trailer, I know what I'm getting myself into while watching What If. And I found this trailer to be very very good just like the WandaVision trailer. I don't really have any big problems about this trailer only from the fact that I already know what I'm going to get myself into while watching this trailer. I know that the origin stories are going to be mixed match. I know that what if Peggy Carter actually became Captain America? What if Captain America was a zombie? Those type of story elements that's what I know going into what if. So this trailer really didn't show me anything new except for what I knew I was going into. But I really enjoyed the animation style. I know a lot of people have their criticisms about it, but I really like the animation style here. I think it's very dynamic, and that's what this trailer does. It's very much showing you what this animation style is going to be. We saw little teasers and sneak peeks a year ago, but we finally get to see them talking, fully formed. They're doing little movements and stuff like that. And the animation looks really good and really dynamic. And I just find this to be an interesting concept for a MCU show that I think is apart from canon. But I wouldn't be that mad if it was a part of canon. But I still would prefer it to be loosely tied to the bigger broader part of the mcu that the tv shows and the movies are gonna connect to but i really enjoyed this trailer but just like wandavision it already showed me what i was getting myself into 
My runner-up at number two has got to go to Loki. I was never that much excited for a Loki series, but I just love this trailer. This trailer wowed me on what they were doing with this property and also what Kevin Feige was saying about it being a crime thriller. I really enjoyed what they were going for with this series and also what they did with this trailer. I think that this trailer actually made me more excited for Loki because like I said I was never that much excited for him but after watching the trailer I can see the route that they're going it seems like they're taking a more darker take but at the same time it still has that MCU feel to it it's also a trailer that is very eerie yeah. very spooky and also mysterious at the same time so I like the fact that we don't have much info on this series but all we know is that it's going to be a crime thriller Loki is going through different realities I think he's doing different tasks I really enjoy what they're going for inside of this show and also what they did inside of this trailer just made me a lot more excited to see Loki and also this trailer just blew away all my expectations for this series. This trailer perfectly represented the prison breakout heist crime thriller environment that makes me interested inside of the MCU while also bringing in a great character like Loki and putting him in the center of it. I think that that brought up my hype levels for this show a lot but i think my number one just had a little bit more hype but this trailer was very well handled real quick before i get into my number one i'd like to take the time to say that if you are a fan of marvel which you probably are that's why you're watching this video click that playlist up above for everything marvel related that i have on my channel also if you are a fan of the dceu i am doing a dceu rewatch on my podcast it's called The Regular Podcast, and that link is always in the description and in the comment section. And we will be uploading Aquaman on Wednesday. Also, come back tomorrow, where I will be ranking all 13 MCU Disney Plus shows ranked in my level of excitement. Like, comment, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into my number one. But obviously, coming in, my number one has got to go to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier trailer. WandaVision was my highly anticipated show, but I really think that Falcon and the Winter Soldier might have surpassed WandaVision up to this point. I mean, just the way that the trailer showed that Falcon is not going to start off being Captain America. He's going to stay as Falcon. He has to lead into that. And I like the fact that they're showing that this is... A six hour long movie Falcon and the Winter Soldier is a movie it's an MCU movie but told in a six episode show and I really see that inside of this trailer I can see the different cinematics I can see the different camera techniques I really enjoy that this looks like a movie it has the production value of a movie and I like the fact that Disney Plus is going that extra route to give the bigger budget to these MCU shows and have them feel like MCU movies just told on the smaller screen you see the nice little buddy cop relationship and dynamic at the end of the trailer also throughout the trailer sprinkled in there just everything about this trailer made me hyped and I I really think that this might be my number one highly anticipated show for the Disney Plus MCU series. It seems like the action is going to be a lot more like the Captain America Winter Soldier action as well as the Civil War and also the Bad Boys trilogy. It looks like they're trying to take a lot of influence from those five movies and I really enjoy what they're doing with this. So the Falcon and the Winter Soldier trailer made me more hyped. It made me more excited for this show. So the Falcon and the Winter Soldier trailer has to come in at number one. Alright guys, that was it for the ranking. Please know that everything that I did say in this video was just my very own opinion. My list was certainly not the right list. It was just my list and you were free to comment down below your ranking of all MCU Disney Plus TV series trailers ranked from the worst to the best just like me or you could just do your favorite. And please don't forget to come back tomorrow on Tuesday while we'll be ranking all 13 confirmed MCU Disney Plus series ranked by my level of excitement. Like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.